Well, hello again. Hello. My name is Tashika Pear, founder of Crowning Daughters for Success. Welcome to Gospel in the Real. I'm Patricia Bryan, pastor of Nazareth Church of God. Welcome again to Gospel in the Real. Today we want to talk about uh, being unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. Being unequally yoked uh, is a very um, important topic. It is. For the church, mm -hmm. for friendships, for marriages, mm -hmm. for any kind of relationship, mm -hmm. anything we do as a Christians mm -hmm. or women, we, we you know this gospel, this thing was for women, but mm -hmm. it does does evolve. Yeah, it did. Evolve <laughs> to men as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything we do, we have to make sure that our life is not unequally yoked. In other words, do not be unbalanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. We should not be on balance mm -hmm. because light has nothing to do with darkness. Absolutely. Darkness remains darkness and light is light. Mm -hmm. We are light. Mm -hmm. And so when we come into any kind of relationship, no matter what it is, we have to come as light. Mm -hmm. So we cannot afford to get into, let's talk about a relationship. Okay. Right? A friendship. Mm -hmm. um, we are friends. Mm -hmm. I like to go to the clubs. Mm -hmm. I like to do the things that the world does. Mm -hmm. You are a woman of God mm -hmm. and you want to go to church and mature in Christ and you do go out and you do have fun and stuff, mm -hmm. but you don't do certain things because it's not a part of your life right. in Christ. Mm -hmm. If I am your friend mm -hmm. and we are walking side by side, one of us is light and one is darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, the light is supposed to outshine the darkness, mm -hmm. but sometimes, uh, because that person is not strong enough, mm -hmm. it can pull, the darkness can pull the light into it, yes. which is why Christ says not to be on equally yoked. In other fact, he's saying be mindful mm -hmm. of where you put yourself. Absolutely. Be careful of who you walk with because mm -hmm. the persons that you walk with must always be lifting you up, mm -hmm. not pulling you down. Absolutely. What's your thoughts on that? You know, my thoughts of it is, th is that so many people feel judged if someone says, I can't hang out with you, or I can't go this place with you, or I can't date you. They feel like, why are you judging me? You're human just like I am, so why are you being all holier than thou? Mm -hmm. but when I think of the word yoke, I think of a tie and a togetherness. Mm -hmm. I think of you and I, we are together. I mean, we are clinging. We're like Siamese twins. Yes. Okay, so when I think about yoking up with someone, it's one thing. Yeah. When I think about being a guide or ministering to someone, mm -hmm. is another thing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like me yoking up with you, that means I agree with you. You yes. agree with me. We are in agreement. We can't be in agreement with two different mindsets, two different lifestyles, two different belief systems. But I can yet still minister to you without yoking up with you in agreement in regards to your life and in, in, in regards to your choices. Right. So if we learn to understand the difference between yoking up with a person and ministering and being a light to a person, that's two different things. Jesus sat at the table with the tax collectors. Exactly. He was not yoking up with them. He was demonstrating light to them. He was demonstrating mercy to them. He did not indulge in the things that they indulged in, so he didn't yoke up with him, them. He didn't agree with them, but he was a light for them. It is a difference. Yeah. He was the teacher. He was the teacher. He was sitting at the table mm -hmm. with them, but he was the one teaching. There you go. He was the one showing mm -hmm. them to the light. Absolutely. And it is, it is difficult to have a friendship mm -hmm. where we're not on the same page. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, you want to do this and I want to do that. We can't. It's difficult to mm -hmm. have that kind of friendship. It's difficult to have a mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. where, okay, I'm Chris. There's a lot of ladies or men who are, 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 they want to get married mm -hmm. in haste and they can't wait on God mm -hmm. and pray until God delivers the right partner. Mm -hmm. So they see somebody. You know how you see somebody and, ooh, that one looks good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, that's the one for me. Mm -hmm. God said, mm, not that one, but mm -hmm. you're like, yeah, they've got the right physique mm -hmm. and you know all yeah. the stuff that our eyes see. Mm -hmm. But the character of that person or the person themselves is not right. Mm -hmm. Right? They're mm -hmm. not right for mm -hmm. God. 
So now I marry this person, mm -hmm. and in the middle of the marriage, can start right in the first night, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. that you realize this isn't what I wanted. This is something mm -hmm. else. Yes. Now you are married to it. Mm. That's why we have so many divorces Absolutely. in the church. In the church. In the church. The church should be a place where families are held together mm -hmm. and we see Absolutely. the work of God and the mm -hmm. word sees us and Absolutely. says, wow, I want to be like, wanna be like them. them. Mm -hmm. But the church, because it's so unequally yoked, we're finding ourselves divorcing and having mm -hmm. all of this same mm -hmm. results mm -hmm. that the world has. Absolutely. And God already warned us. The Lord already warned us in the scripture here. He says we are not to be unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. So that it's my business or it's my purpose to find out what God's purpose is. To Absolutely. Me. Wait for him to show me. Mm -hmm. Wait for him. We, we've gotten so anxious about everything that Absolutely. we can't wait and so a lot of times uh, I think that's the worst to be unequally yoked in marriage oh I've heard some that is the most painful it, it, because if you just think about that woman most of our churches are filled with women yes. Yes. And most of our churches are filled with women coming to church by themselves yes and most of our churches are filled with hurting women because every time they step in church and they have a family at home and that husband never wants to come to church because in the beginning he didn't go to church. Yes. In the beginning he did not reverence God. In the beginning he did not make uh, biblical plans to, 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 to rise with you spiritually. Mm -hmm. So you thought after the I do... Ooh. That you could change his mind, Ooh, yeah. but you're still if you were unequally yoked before the I do <laughs> Unless something drastically changed you're gonna be unequally yoked after the I do yes. and that's the residue God even said he said you can't serve two masters exactly. You're gonna either love one and hate, hate the, the other. other if you walk if you're walking with someone and you have two different mindsets you're gonna always collide always collide and there you got you have it you have this war going mm -hmm. on and and it's not just a physical war sometimes no. it gets physical yeah it gets to the point where it becomes physical but that spiritual on mm -hmm. you know on on yokeness mm -hmm. that 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 not being able to walk arm in arm. Absolutely. Not being able to do the same thing. You know, you can have a marriage and we can't even pray together. We are unequally yoked. Yeah. Because first of all, we're supposed to do that. Absolutely. There is a time for each of us seeking the Lord on our own. Mm. But there's, we should be a family. Absolutely. Well, like you said, we are yoked together. Yeah. Everything you're mm -hmm. thinking, I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Come on, honey. And I don't want to let, let you go, go right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we get so mm -hmm. caught up. Friendships? Absolutely. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Because if my friend doesn't have the same mindset as I do about the things of the Lord, mm -hmm. then likely either two, one of two things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand my ground mm -hmm. and hold on to my Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so funny. When you do that and you're really set, you will really find out who your true oh, friends yes. are. Absolutely. Because your true friends will remain with you mm -hmm. even then. Yes. But those who are just there for whatever purpose mm -hmm. they're there and they're on your unequally yoke, mm -hmm. they might walk away. Mm -hmm. Most of the times they do walk mm -hmm. away. Or I'm gonna go your way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start following you to the clubs. Mm -hmm. Always oh, won't hurt this one time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start getting the boyfriend, mm -hmm. you know, and I, 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 we're just going out to the movies. Mm -hmm. We're just a group, mm -hmm. and then the next thing you know, you fell off. You're gone. <laughs> you have fell off. Yes, yes. You have fell off, yeah. and you know something? I, I was just thinking about when I was going through. A divorce um, a good friend of mine she lives in Orlando and I went to her house and she was just really concerned about me and um, I was talking with her and I I said Tony what is that over there on your um, counter and she said you know that's my drink I said you know what I'm just going through so much Tony now I was joking okay y'all I just want to see what she was gonna say and I said is that Patron I never taste Patron I need to taste some of that Patron she said uh-uh you already on your side. I'm trying to get on your side. You can't taste none of this. Now, I'll taste some for you, but you ain't tasting none of this because you are already on that side. And I'm trying to get on that side. You can't come over here with me. I said that to say, 
even when you're unequally yoked, but you have been a strong witness yes. to friends who may not have reached the point of where you are, yeah. they don't want you on that side. They don't. They don't want you on that side because there's something in them that wants to be where you are. Now, the amount of time and the choice is theirs, yes. but they're not going to try to pull you. That tells you immediately that's somebody you need to drop like a hot potato. Yeah. And I like what that friend. That was she a good did. friend. She said, uh-uh, you can't do that. That was, a, that was a good friend. That was a good friend. A good friend will steer you in the right Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Even if they're not in the same place. Absolutely. So, you know, you know what was happening to that friend? God was already dealing mm -hmm. with that heart. Mm -hmm. And so that heart is trying to reach over and come over. Now, had you decided, well, I don't care what you want. I want some of that. And Give me some of You that. could totally rock her world. Absolutely. You know, so. We have a responsibility. We do. Those, those of us who are yoked with Christ, yes. we have a responsibility yes. to those who are not yoked with Christ. We have a responsibility to stay our course. We have the responsibility, if we say we're with God and we're yoked, He abides in us, we abide in Him, then our life should be, we're talking about hypocrisy again. However, there our life should reflect that. It should reflect We that. can't be saying we're walking with Christ. Yeah. And then doing something totally yeah. different. Not only are we hypocrites, but we're supposed to be yoked with him. With you know how it is to be yeah. yoked? Yeah. You're tied yes. to something, and yeah. there's no breaking loose. Mm -hmm. The oxen had the yoke. He yes. had to carry his yoke on his back. Yes. And he's going through. He couldn't put, if he put the yoke off, he couldn't do the work that mm -mm. was expected of him. Mm -mm. So when that oxen had the yoke on him, he was not free. He was not free from carrying that load that he had to carry. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are, 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 are tied mm -hmm. or yoked mm -hmm. with Christ. Mm -hmm. We have taken, took his yoke upon us, and now we're walking with him. Mm -hmm. So others should always want to come to Christ through us. Absolutely. And whatever we do in our lives, we have to make sure that Christ is the head of it. Absolutely. Because we don't want to have two masters. We can't. Uh, no. We can't. Mm -hmm. We are going to slip I'm telling you, if you think you can do it, I am telling you, you are wrong. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it. If Jesus says, do not be unequally yoked, then he knows better than we do Absolutely. what it be, will take and what will happen. So we should not allow ourselves to be unequally yoked, Absolutely. whether in friendship, whether in marriage, or whatever it what is. What about business? When it comes to making that money. Ooh. You know, some people are like, hey, I'm in church. They're not in church. This is about business. Yeah. What, 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 what's your oh my perspective God. on yoking up with people in business mm -hmm. and they don't believe or their character doesn't reflect your character? Yoking up with anybody, mm -hmm. whether it, it, even in business. Because mm -hmm. first of all, a lot of times businesses do... Uh, uh, things that are not upfront, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so here you are having a good witness. Mm -hmm. You're carrying your yoke well. Mm -hmm. And you're now going in business with someone who is a little trickery mm -hmm. going on and they want to lie and steal and mm -hmm. do all the kind of stuff going around the corners instead of being outright open. Right. Well, you are called to be right mm -hmm. in all cases mm -hmm. at all time. You have to let the righteousness of Christ shine. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you are going to have to either sever that business mm -hmm. or, 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 or stand your ground. Absolutely. Stand your ground. Here we are. I have to stand my ground. I can't lie for you. I know when I was in a, a, in the Word, um, well, I'm still in the Word, mm -hmm. but when I was in uh, the working force, mm -hmm. and uh, my boss says, well, tell a lie. And, you know, do that. I said, mm -mm, I can't do that. Well, why not? Because I should not lie. The Bible mm -hmm. said I shouldn't lie. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm not going to lie for you. So if you want to fire me uh, with respect, I have to tell you that I can't do this. Right. My wow. boss laughed and he says, wow. And he walked away. Because there was no way I was going to take his stand. For why? My life depended on this. Mm. In Christ. Absolutely. And that's the most important thing to me. Because I might have just for that moment, you know... And, and, and what happens once you do it once? You know what happens? You have to keep rolling. You keep on doing it. You, you keep, keep on doing on it. No. So the best thing is not to be unequally yoked. Well, somebody is telling us that we, we only have a couple more seconds. But I have to ask you this. Because as soon as I started thinking about being unequally yoked, 
What about unequally yoked in ministry? You know, there are many churches that come together, uh, people sing in the choir, uh, people on different types of ministries, maybe living one lifestyle, but how do we yoke together in ministry and not, not in a mean way, not in a harsh way, uh, remove people from ministry that's not living right but that's in a sense to me you're allowing someone to preach but they're living some different way then that's not equally yoked in ministry and I how do you feel you're a pastor so I'm gonna put the buff on you <laughs> well the, the, <laughs> there comes a time in ministry mm -hmm. When we have to cause some people to look at themselves. Okay. And if there, if I'm in ministry with you, mm -hmm. and I know you're preaching the true gospel, mm -hmm. and I see you out of line, mm -hmm. I first come to you and discuss it. Now, you can't do this. You have to get yourself in order. This okay. is what the scripture said. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hear it, then I get uh, the other elders. We come together. We discuss it. You mm -hmm. are going to have to make some changes. Mm -hmm. You cannot continue to live this double standard. Mm -hmm. And if you decide not to do it, and it's my job to put you to set. Shut up! It's my job. It is scriptural. Yes. Because otherwise, I am really... What am I doing? When we bring worship to God, when we bring anything to God, mm -hmm. the Bible said he is pure, he is holy. Mm -hmm. When I come with tainted knowing, mm -hmm. knowing it is tainted, mm -hmm. and I try to offer it to God, mm -hmm. what is that? What is that? So for me, after we've gone through the process and given you time to get yourself together, and I see you decided to keep going down that way, well, I'm not going to yoke myself to you any longer. I'm going to have to say to you, we're going to have to unclass this because uh, I'm not going down because mm -hmm. of you. Absolutely. Because if I knowingly let you do it, guess what? Mm -hmm. I am just as wrong. As wrong. I am still accountable to God. Mm. So if I don't take care of it, when when Nathan got the, the, the dream about David and, mm -hmm. and uh, Bathsheba, mm -hmm. and he went in and told him, mm -hmm. right? David had to repent. Mm -hmm. David had to come to the place where he accepted, I did the wrong, yes. and I repent of it to move on. Absolutely. We can mess up. We, re we mess up. People mess up. Absolutely. All the time. But when you get enlightened, repent and change okay. and I cannot continue to walk with you in darkness otherwise I am also in the darkness y'all the pastor has given it to us unequally yoke you can be unequally yoke in friendships in business and honey we hear you can actually be unequally yoked in the house of yes. God yes and it is time that we yoke up with real people who has made up their minds for Christ I live for Christ and for I Christ die. I die. It's a difference to yoke up with someone and be in agreement with them then to and then to sit at the table and minister to those who need to be ministered to. We're not saying throw God's people away. No. We're not saying that just because someone isn't living the lifestyle you're living to just walk right past them. Mm -hmm. But you can't agree with them. No. And you can't yoke up with them. But you can minister to them yeah. and be that light. Just give them a break to mm -hmm. get it together. Mm -hmm. And that's the bottom line for me. Be careful if you marry them, though, because it's out of my hands. Oh, after then that. you're going to have to deal with the, 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 the yokes yeah. that are really heavy. And the yokes that Jesus gave us said, my burdens are like and my yoke is easy. <laughs> but the yoke you take on, well, it's not of Christ. Oh, boy, mm -hmm. it's not going to be easy. It's mm -hmm. going to be really hard. Yeah. And you would have to grow strong or you're going to find yourself destroyed. Yeah. Torn apart. Yeah. And we don't want that. Mm -mm. Well. This has been Gospel in the Real, and yes, we are over our time, but hey, we're over our time because we want you to get it. Yes. Amen. And we will see you next time. God bless you. Remember, be not unequally yoked, but seek those things which are from above. God bless you. <laughs>